Hey everyone, this is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, I want to show you my triple monitor setup and explain how I use each and every monitor to improve my video editing workflow. I've had these monitors for about six months now, and I've been using this exact setup ever since. I got pretty detailed stuff going on, and I feel like I have enough experience to explain why I use what I do and why you should pick up these monitors for yourself. So first of all, I'm using Premiere Pro mainly because it does great with multiple windows and also it works good for network projects and shared things. So first let me talk about what monitors I am using. In the middle, I have a 20 inch 4K Samsung panel. This is my main monitor. On the left, I have a 27 inch 1440p Thunderbolt display from Apple. And on the right, I have a 21.5 inch 1080p monitor from Dell. So kicking things off on the main monitor, I have my effects control panel where I can control things like position and scale. To the right of that, I have two different tabs. On the one tab, I have my Lumetri color. This is where I can control all the different colors and exposures of the clips. And then also I have my effects tab right next to that. I have a folder of my favorites, but it's a great and convenient way to browse through effects and easily apply them to your clips. Down on the bottom, I have my audio waveform monitor as well as the timeline, which spans the entire width of the monitor. This is a really great way to see every single thing and I can expand them to actually see previews of the clips, but I do layer multiple things. So having more real estate on the bottom is really helpful for me. On the right, I have my media monitor where I keep all of the clips. On the top, I have my source monitor where I can view each clip. I set the in and out points from there and then I can drag that over to the timeline. Down below that, I have my project library with all the different clips and audio files all laid out in alphabetical order. And to the right of that, I have my media browser where I can view clips and import them into the project library. And finally, on my left monitor, I have my Lumetri scopes, my waveforms, and the RGB parade, all that sort of stuff, so I can view the colors and exposure. And then finally, I have the output monitor where I can view the final clip that's been color corrected, edited. This is the playback from the actual timeline itself of everything that's completely edited, and I will know what it looks like when it's done exporting. With these three monitors, I feel like I've vastly improved my efficiency and speed in video editing. It's really great having a vertical monitor to view all clips and not have to scroll through many, many lines of clips. It's also great to have a very large preview of the clip you're going to add to the timeline, and having a dedicated monitor for exposure and color adjustments as well as previewing the final output is a really great thing. And I love having much, much more space across the bottom of my monitor for timeline editing. It's very helpful and I do have the extra room to expand the clips and view thumbnails if I want to. So there you go. That is my triple monitor setup. This is why I use it. If you have any questions about this setup, definitely let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with At Tech, and I will see you in the next one.